you have any food in there? These folks haven't eaten in two days. We salvaged some canned goods from the grocery. Our fields are flooded and Midwest crops blew down in the tornadoes. Mac, their bodies floating by East Bridge. I'm pulling people off rooftops. Dead folks will wait. I'm heading back to the trailer park. Here's the money from the libs, bro. Your ticket to take the family throne back to Washingtonia. All right! And with my emergency superpower crown, we can control it all! Even though libs will vote for me when we hand this stuff out. Oh, yeah. But let's start this right. Deacon Frank, can you ask old Milt Friedman here for his blessing? <laughs> Certainly. Oh, Milton, Magus of the almighty free market, bless these dollars. Transform them from wasteful liberal handouts into Prince's official freedom funds for economic recovery. To share with the worthy, especially the big donors, and those reaping blessed profits from educating children. Mm, more money, more money, more money. Oh, my the mill. Okay, Deacon, okay. Amen. 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 Guys, pandemic's done, business is great, and I've got more cash. Sire, all the princes have ended their emergency authority. When will you get back your superpower crown? I've got cash here, and this guy's asking boring questions. Who wants some dough? What about school districts? <laughs> Submit your paperwork. We'll let you know. We are on our way to recovery. If everyone will just keep their masks on. Free us! Back us! Back! That's good, doctor. Now look at the camera. Money from Washingtonia to promote vaccines, bro. Whew! It arrived before my superpower crown expired. Grab Josiah Bartlett and let's head to the press conference. Hey, Josiah, it's showtime. Uh, showtime! Vaccination ad take two. We have vaccinated over half of the population, and infections have plummeted. Never mind, Doc. I'll handle this. No, no more masks, no, no superpower crown, crown, no more mandates, or you set down. So, great news! We're at the precipice at the end of the tunnel. The mask mandate is over. What? And I just signed a bill banning vaccine mandates. The decision was data-driven. We have the lowest rates. But infections are at their highest ever. Don't worry, Doc. We've got $434,000 to push vaccines, and that's what I'm doing. We're number one. 
We're number one. We're, We're number, number one. one. We have enough vaccines for essential workers now. Come on up and get vaccinated, Here ski patrols. Are you a ski patrol? I'm a teacher. I'm a hairstylist, and you better believe I breathe on people all day, <laughs> Princey boy. Sorry, guys. Uh, yours will come next month. Only ski patrols uh, and in-state college students. Are you in-state students? Yes. Uh, no, but we all live in the same dorm room. Give out a state students a vaccine and they'll want to vote here. Don't worry. We're cutting college funding again. Our tuition's highest in the nation. No college kids are going to take the family thrown away from me. Sorry, guys. Crushing it! I'm crushing COVID! Get your vaccines and you can crush COVID too! Oh, he's crushing COVID! Uh, thanks, sweetheart. Uh, enter out the pit about high infections. And college kids, uh, they'll just confuse people. Otherwise, it's a wrap. Uh, we'll just show the prince giving vaccines to his family's ski patrol. No, cut that, sweet cakes. Just focus on how the prince is <laughs> crushing COVID. See ya, Frankie! I know Dad wants me in Washingtonia now, but I'd rather wait and get the King's crown in two years. Damn right we want you there. Hell, we gave you the family parrot. I'll have one of Richie's friends run for dukedom. You know, Richie hasn't donated since I lost my superpower crown. Mm, more money, more money, more money. Richie, we've already rigged the school tax to give your rich towns kickbacks, switched poor towns grants over to you, we cut business taxes four times. Mm, more money, more money, more money. Told you, bro, time to cut the IND. But Dad tried repealing the interest and dividend tax. Bro, it'd save Richie and us a quarter mil each. There'll be an uproar, just like last time. That was Dad's generation, bro. People now only care about their own wallets. They won't even notice our haul. Great news, guys. We're cutting taxes, business taxes, interest and dividends. That'll create awesome opportunity for retirees or... Uh -oh. What's he cutting? Tax on interest and dividends. What banks and stocks pay? But don't those cuts further enrich multinationals and the wealthiest residents, such as your family, Saya? You should be ashamed of yourself wanting to take money from retirees. I'm retired. Paid $15 interest tax last year. $15? What piece of shit tire did you get for $15? Retired, idiot! Put in your hearing aid! Mr. Silver Spoon's giving money to rich retired people! Guys, calm down! We cut Poor Town's funding so now we can give tax cuts to everybody! Oh yeah, tax cuts for everybody! Tax, tax cuts, cuts for everybody! everybody. Tax, tax cuts, cuts for everybody! everybody. See, Richie, they're totally suckered. Get our guys to Washingtonia and we'll end the social security tax. More money, more money, more money. Excuse me, sir. This is protected marshlands. According to the Estuary Protection Bill, no powered personal watercraft are permitted in this avian nesting area. sent me over this map so we can choose opportunity zones. Splendid. 
tax breaks for the rich who invest in impoverished areas. Mmm, more money, more money, more money. Why give tax breaks here? That's Libland. No, no, the porcupines are taking over there. They already stopped garbage pickup and boarded up the library. Well, we need an opportunity zone here. Hmm, I wonder who owns that land. <laughs> Whoops. Better watch out, Deacon. Can't step into Sonny's shoes if you're sitting on your ass. Showtime, bro. Put on your puppy dog face. Nice tower, huh? No towers, no towers, no towers. No Prince, I hear the opportunities on credit you gave Wonderville Alley helped entice the cell provider to build this tower. Well, we don't interfere with private companies' decisions. If it's in their best interest. No, no towers, towers, no towers, no towers. But isn't your family leasing the land for the tower? Cell service is crucial for emergencies. Shame on you for questioning people's safety. If we don't get this tower built, we'll never sell our property along this road. More money, more money, more money. Isn't a 170-foot tower a flight hazard on a 2,000-foot peak? I thought you had this. Yeah, but look, there's Dad. Dad, where are you going? I've got a dental appointment. No, Dad! Look, look out, the tower! tower. We increased your medication, hon. Just checking your vitals again. That's the patient suite across the hall. The family must be visiting. Josh, when are you coming to the hospital to do a story on my dad? He's an important man. I'll close the door. Nurse, we need some privacy. Can't you move this patient somewhere else? Excuse me? This woman is in quarantine and every bed is full of COVID patients. Please put on your mask. Oh. Nurse, my father needs you. Just a minute. You're not treating us with the importance we deserve. Come and... Dad's okay, Mom. Just cracked some ribs when he parachuted out of the jet. Look, I've got to go to a fundraiser, and I'm getting a horrible headache. Hey, guys. Uh, look what we have to auction. My veto of paid family and medical leave. Uh, how about 300? I have 300. Do I hear 350 for the greatest veto of all time? <laughs> Uh, 350. Do I hear four? Vito. Paid family and medical. Uh, I have to leave. <coughs> more money, more money, more money. <coughs> Why don't you make them get vaccinated? Vito. <sighs> I'm dying here. Nurse, you need to test me. You and a hundred others, most of them unvaccinated. Please return to the waiting room. Nurse, you need to test the prince now. <sighs> you ain't vaccinating me. Don't worry, guy. I'm fighting the Fed's vaccination mandates. Oh! Don't worry, nurse. I'm taking the Fed's millions to promote vaccines. Ouch! I'm off to the dentist. Glad you're better, Dad. I'm heading down to pay the staff. Wait a minute. Wages were supposed to go up. It passed both houses. It passed the first time, yes, but not the second. You vetoed it. Well, uh, yes, that's true. It was me, but we wouldn't want to artificially drive up wages. The free market is what makes our economy thrive. Makes you thrive? Keeps me patching up my kids' boots with duct tape so I can afford gas to drive here and make you rich. Done already, Dad? Left the jet on autopilot, so I headed to our place in Aspen. My dentist's in Boston. 
<laughs> okay, Dad. Safe travels. Huh? You vetoed the wage hike? But you still have to pay minimum wage. Sorry, guy. Not to greeters at ski areas. We fixed that in RSA 279.21. What a ripoff. I quit. Here you go. By the way, we don't need you today. Lucky fellow, now you can spend the morning skiing. But I need the hours. I have to pay my college loans. Do you want a second job as a greeter? That slacker just quit. But labor law says you have to pay for at least two hours if you schedule someone for work and they show up. Sorry, guy. Not ski areas. We fixed that in RSA 275.43A. That sucks. We gotta keep our costs down to attract tourism and support New Hampshire jobs. By the way, can you get me a tow back up the hill before you leave? Dad, where are you off to now? Got the date wrong, but don't worry. Military only charges me commercial rates. That's good, Dad. I don't think we could pass a bill to cut this guy's pay and raise our profits anymore. <laughs> I was just kidding. Bro, that was so dope. But you're gonna be canned, you know? Yeah, well, F Sunny Boy. What happened? Junior Jerk Boy wouldn't pay me for coming in. <laughs> yeah, they passed special laws just to stiff us. Ugh, I'm so sick of this shit Uncle Richie and his friends pull. <coughs> Dude. But hey, why should I care if you burn Sunny's place down? Actually, the water table's so low, the whole forest will probably go if we have another bad drought. Order, order! Today, we consider 27 million in federal funds to vaccinate children and... We don't need no effing vaccine money. Mm, no effing vaccine money. This meeting is adjourned. Welcome, ye who would free education dollars from public school bondage. Our new universally reduced education freedom dollars will keep demonic liberals from perverting young minds. <laughs> Parents should decide what kids learn. What about kids? Don't we get a say? Yeah, I wanted to go to aerospace camp but dad made me intern at his landscaping company. And why should parents who already pay to send their kids to private school suddenly expect me to pay for them? Vouchers won't raise your property taxes till next year. And if you don't like that, just shut down your public schools. You'll save a pile. <clears throat> Free the money! Free the money! Free the money! Free the money! Dick and Frank, lots of outsiders are watching from afar, but thousands of the Prince's subjects here oppose this bill. Will the Prince sign it? He will sign. Dick and Frank, where's the money for our community school districts? <laughs> You'll need to fill out more forms. Frank, my friend, that's quite a crowd. See my future king? It's a massive demographic from across the kingdom. But lots here don't like vouchers, and you're 40 times over budget. Do you think Richie's gonna pay for that? Of course not, sire, but to become king in two years, you will need my people from across the realm. And you will have their support if you sign this bill. But I need support from my subjects here for now. Even the porcupines. We made sure there will be no tax increases before the election, sire. Even after, only poor towns will 
need to fire teachers and board up schools, and the porcupines will be happy to do that. Just think, sire, without highly rated schools to attract libs, housing prices will drop. My people will move in to get vouchers. Money will be free to go where it pleases. You really are quite a guy, Deacon. I actually thought you might try to steal my throne again. Why would I do that, sire, if you ensure that I'll inherit it when you go to Washingtonia? Well, that depends, Frank. I hear you rated Richie's education contract proposal lower than his competitors. True, and Mr. Greedyman bid $593,000. The better proposal only bid $324,000. But you'll make sure Richie wins the contract, right? Because when money's free to do as it pleases, we make sure it runs our team's way. Capiche? Hmm. I see. We will select Mr. Greedeman's bid. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're part of the team, Frank. But give me back Josiah Bartlett. That parrot's been in our family for generations. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. This is protected marshlands. According to the Estuary Protection Bill, no powered personal watercraft are permitted in this avian nesting area. Richie, they passed the estuary protection bill unanimously. <laughs> okay. Uncle Richie, what the hell? Get off your lazy ass and use a dinghy. <laughs> Seriously? The rising tide is already encroaching on their nesting areas. Prince, can you tell us why you just vetoed that unanimously passed Marshallin's protection bill? And what about the three clean energy bills awaiting a signature? <laughs> Slick, we have three more damned energy bills. The libs are telling people they should invest in conservation and peak reduction. <coughs> no way, bro. You want to cut oil futures? What would happen? <laughs> See? But you only need to invest $1 in conservation and peak reduction to get back $4 in savings. Uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm the one cleaning up your mess. Look, there's oil everywhere. Get out of here, kid. Look, if we conserve and cut peak use, we can shut down that coal plant that's smogging up the valley and giving you both coughing fits. Money don't care how black's the air, kid. <laughs> Slick, <laughs> you're covering everything in smoke and oil. People are starting to notice. If college kids like him, or uh, her, uh, it, uh, whatever, uh, realize uh, they'll turn out and vote. But these bills are gonna cut demand for our fuel, bro. We just want you to kill these bills. Me and Richie want to be put on the Utilities Commission. End the dope for insulation and better HVACs and solar. We want it gone. Stop letting people sell back their electricity. Don't build charging stations. Don't set clean energy requirements. You're killing us. You're killing our dreams. Whoa, Slick. Okay, calm down, guy. Kid, come wipe me down, and I'll let you put a solar panel on your roof. <laughs> Shit. Sunny Boy vetoed everything. Can't they override him? 
We don't have the votes, Josie. Sunny Boy lies to justify vetoing really good bills. He doesn't care how much CO2 they create or how many die. It's all about the money. F that. I'm running. What's up, Joes? I'm running for state rep, Mac. <laughs> you? That's a laugh. No, for real. We can't just let them F up the planet, grab all the money, and stiff our generation. Same goes for you millennials, Mac. I'm running too. Me too. Will you stop cutting my pay and fight climate change so we will still have some snow to ski on? You bet. And so we don't lose our forests. I'll vote for you. Will you stop pretending to lower property taxes when you're really raising them? You know it, Mac. Uncle Richie. What the? Josie is a socialist. Josie wants an income tax. Mm, Prince Sunny Boy crushed COVID. What? Half the kids and teachers in my school are sick? The prince gave you cash from his puffer fund? Yeah, gave himself and his buddies $10 for every one we got. And that was our money to start with, back from Washingtonia. Wasteful liberal handouts, vote for me. Jesse wants to tell parents what to teach their kids. What the hell, Uncle Richie? This is what you're running against us? Seriously? <laughs> We know your tricks, Uncle Richie. You and Prince Sunny Boy think we're so stupid and you can turn us against each other. So we'll leave you in charge and you can keep fleecing us. We're not letting you ruin our futures, you old geezer. food in there? These folks haven't eaten in two days. We salvaged some canned goods from the grocery. Our fields are flooded and Midwest crops blew down in the tornadoes. Mac, their bodies floating by East Bridge. I'm pulling people off rooftops. Dead folks will wait. I'm heading back to the trailer park. As you prophesize, Mighty Milk, the free market works. You see, we don't need government to handle rescue operations. People take care of themselves. It's fortunate that Sunny Boy stocks such bountiful supplies here, so we can take care of ourselves, right, boys? And we're taking care of ourselves, Deacon. <laughs> Thanks for laying this great spread. Thanks, Dad. I can't wait to get to Washingtonia and into some dry clothes. Washingtonia is underwater, boys. We're heading to our bolt hole in New Zealand. Oh, darn, Dad. Does that mean I don't get to be king after all? We'll be back, bro. And Richie's robot will run things while we're gone. <laughs> you stay here and help Richie's robot, Josiah. <laughs> Open your eyes, ye who were blinded by trust and caring. Greed and self-interest lead to best outcomes. We outcompete you, and the fittest survive. Greed causes social disruption and environmental disaster. It's greed that heightens storms and fires. It's greed that's wrecked these families' homes. Got your text, Kelly. Just in time. So you see, Deacon, a strong set of peeps beats self-interest and greed. 
this happened because we left Uncle Richie and his friends in charge for so long. We should have taken over the Princeton years ago. What are you doing here? I wait federal emergency handouts, half for my master, Richie Greedybin, and half for everyone else. Robot, don't tell the public that. Say, more money for everyone, more money for everyone. I'm the prince, you're just a bird. Birds are not real, birds are government drones that charge on power lines. Let's get to work, fam. We've got a lot to do before Uncle Richie comes back and tries to take over again. Richie, Deacon, we're coming for you. Prince Honeyball. 